Welcome back guys to a brand new video. Now today we have your daily Ark Survival Ascended news. Today we've got something really cool as we are going to be looking a little bit more into the Fluid Ninja integration for the game, which is the advanced graphic features such as dynamic water, complete interactive physical foliage and more systems to create beautiful immerse next generation experience. Now, from what I've seen is I think there is a demo of this, which you can like look at. Um, we're going to be taking a look at some of the, um, you know, obviously giving a shout out to the creators or well, I don't even know if they're the creators. But anyway, we'll be reading through it all today and taking a look at what you can expect with what's being implemented with Ark Survival Ascended. I think this all looks really cool and as we get closer to the launch it's now the 5th of October so we're now nearly a week into October so if it's going to be the end of October we're still looking at around about three weeks until launch but still very very exciting stuff. Now if you do enjoy today's video as always make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're not um, subscribed because this is where you get your daily Ark Survival Ascended news, everything that's going on straight from the discord straight to this channel. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Now, if you have seen this already and you just rather skip to the Fluid Ninja part, you're more than welcome to, but I just wanted to read where this comes from so you guys have an understanding why Wildcard are working with this for the new game and how cool it looks. So this is where they said in on Friday's Community Crunch, how are you leveraging the new technology? And they said another question could result in quite a mouthful response, so we'll try and keep it simple. Here's what's coming with Asa. So Ark's code base has been rewritten and its artwork recreated by hand to take full advantage of Unreal Engine 5, adding in its Lumen and Nanite systems. Now this is where we're focusing on today, like what I just read out. Advanced graphical features or graphics features such as Dynamic Water, which is the custom Fluid Ninja integration, complete interactive physical foliage, and more systems to create a beautiful immersed next generation experience. Obviously cross-platform modding, um, full cross-platform multiplayer, um, new quality of life improvements, balance, and gameplay changes, including but not limited to. So over time we'll be releasing 11 brand new creatures more than any previous dlc expansions the brand new mini map system pan zoom and pings new structures display cases smaller tech teleporters building pieces and the one i am really excited for the major the major building overhaul well major building system overhaul so it's meant the way we build in the game is meant to be very different and they've just basically given it some tlc new gameplay items Dynamic mesh and creature pathfinding overhaul, which is the AI pathfinding. A lot of people are looking forward to seeing how the creature's AI is going to work in the game compared to before. Is it going to be something like that creatures are going to be a little bit smarter and not just walk into rocks? Maybe. Uh, total UI revamp photo mode new camera systems for players and dinos with the option to revert back to the old systems new player character assets with revamped and improved customization gameplay virtual cursor ui input system new dino manager system with the real time status and track locations of all your creatures at will through one menu and much more a key thing to remember is Ark Survival Ascended will include all its previously released DLCs and maps in its remastered form and will have its own content roadmap. This will include new story content for the game, its own gameplay slash quality of life changes, new DLC, seasonal events and more. Some things we're not quite ready to talk about yet. So let's head back to the custom Fluid Ninja integration. And this is the page that I found, obviously, Fluid Ninja Live um, by Andreas Ketzer. Um, and uh, this looks amazing. So we're going to look through some of the photos, then go onto the Twitter and have a look at some of the videos. So let's just get, get a, quick, a quick read into this. So welcome to Ninja Live 1.9. Um, which is for uh, Unreal Engine 5.1, 5.3, that could be used for screen space effects and drive world space systems such as water bodies, volumes, all that different to foliage, landscape, all that types of stuff. Um, and uh, as I said, they do have a playable interactive demo showcasing the, the 1.7 features. So I might do that for another video building up to it. Um, but yeah, it looks really, really cool. But let's actually have a little look at some of the things with Fluid Ninja. So you have the volume fog, um, you have have come wait how do i go to the uh, can we go next or is it not is that deciding not to work oh we might be at the last photo that's why okay so let's go to the start so we've got smoke 
fire and fluids. Now the waters for me is what looks so cool. Look at this vortex. Like uh, imagine this is added into uh, Arg Survival Evolved. That would be absolutely amazing. Um, we have again some more um, sort of, and we've seen this before in a previous video I did. Uh, we have the snow effects, which is, could be amazing for the Arc snowy biome. Um, this is more on the snow and up close of, look how realistic that looks. It's so cool. Um, we have the sand, um, which could be good for Scorched Earth on its release. Um, and why is that taking us off again? We can see more of the sandstorms as well. Uh, the tracks on the on the on the beach with the sand and the water coming across. Some of the foliage you can see here underwater. Um, how the rivers can work in the game as well. So for Ark's rivers, uh, making them feel. I feel like this is going to make them feel a lot more scary. Like because it's going to feel like more underwater like you don't know what's under there uh, which is cool um again some more other interesting stuff of how the water's gonna work um and then we have um the volume metrics look at this just looks so nice um i think we saw this one in my past video um but it's like a little boat going across the water um this is the one you can actually try out in 1.7 and then this is 1.8 look at the water there so it's like we're living in that looks like a real life photo <laughs> and then more 1.8 as you can see in a river stream and then we have some volume clouds even bringing the clouds more realistic in game some fire look at that look at that it's a little campfire which i guess is going to be very similar to how it works in arc um again another detailed map uh oh, look that's a player on fire wow okay um some more smoke and the way the smoke's going to work in the game uh volume smoke again a little bit more of it there as you can see, even more, there's quite a few photos, isn't there? Is that a candle light as well? And the way the smoke comes off the candle. And then the final one, I think, is the volume fog once again. But it looks fantastic and perfect for how it's going to be pushed into Ark Survival Ascended on launch. Great, great reviews so far, as you can see. Brilliant, brilliant reviews. And then I came across um, Andres Ketzer's uh, Feward Linja Live uh, Twitter account. So actually, while I'm doing it, why not have a follow? Um, so Ninja Live is a real-time uh, response fluid simulation for Unreal uh, Dev. Um, okay, so let's actually get into a little bit. So this was 1.7 released last year. So if we have a little look at this, this might be one we've seen. Oh, I haven't actually seen this bit, I don't think. But yeah, we definitely saw this. But look at the rain as well. Like everything looks so realistic in uh, the water. The water's crazy. That's the one I think that's highlighted. And the water and the fire for me, and the way things move around in the water is so realistic as well. Um, I, I guess this is in a storm. Um, yeah, really, really nice. So I think that's one of the one of the main ones. Look okay, at how everything's like like in, like moving around in the storm. Looks very cool. So um, there's so much else that like with 1.9 we can have a look at. They're very they're obviously shorter clips, but. Oh, wow. So it's like a, someone actually on fire in the game. Um, so that looks a lot more realistic. And the water again, some more water effects. What else have we got here? This is Fluid Ninja 8.1.5. Let's have a look at this. I haven't seen this yet. Wow. This is how we could expect to see the snowstorms and sandstorms in the biomes for new, the new arc, which I think will be more of a challenge going into the biomes i guess i wonder if it's actually going to be able to affect your character or the way the storms happen and then we've got more here um of, of of it moving down a hill which is cool like a little avalanche um let's see this wow look at that it's so nice i can't wait for this to actually be implemented into the game this is a river test last year um, which we can look at the way the water's coming down. That looks like a real life photo. If you go somewhere with rocks and a river, you wouldn't, if, so, if someone zoomed in on that, you could actually think that's just real life, which is just unbelievable to think. So there's so many more videos that you can come and have a look at if you're that interested, you know, of, of different things that you can be expecting with the, how it's going to work with Arc Survival Evolve. So do recommend going to drop um, this account a follow uh, Fluid Ninja live um, to go and check out some extra things that are coming with Arc. So 
It is at that point now, guys, where it's the 5th of October. We've made it into their Ark uh, Survival Evolved server shut down. There's still like 50,000 people playing on unofficial and single player, which is crazy. Um, but as the weeks go on, tomorrow's Friday. Um, I don't know. Basically, one of the crunches in the next two weeks is going to be big. Um, I don't know which one it's going to be. Do I think it's going to be next? Uh, tomorrow's one? I don't think so. Um, it'd be interesting to see if you would have thought that they'd at least give us something as it's this close now but the next two weeks maybe even three there's going to be some big community crunches coming as the game is meant to be released at the end of october i will be bringing you guys this information and everything else related to the game as fast as possible straight to the channel so that's why i recommend sticking around so you don't miss anything if you're looking forward to the asa launch a lot of people ask me the questions dom when are you going to be doing the asa giveaways now i was meant to be doing it in the stream but the reason we didn't end up doing it is because it was such a massive day like when the servers are closing down it's an emotional day and we put all our focus into saying goodbye to the servers but we actually received i think a hundred pound in donations so all of that it's great because that's all just going back into giveaways so what i'll do is obviously we announced one on um the daily arc news twitter which obviously the link is in the description if you don't follow it yet um so we're going to be doing one on there and then i might just do it on the channel um i I just want to know when launch is when launch is coming out and then i can do them i might just do it earlier on um because there's going to be no pre-orders i guess i'm just going to be giving away game cards which can is like afford the price of it which is 39.99 dollars on launch so we'll be doing that as many as we can um obviously i'm putting a lot of my money towards it as well um and i'll be keeping you guys up to date don't worry this is one of my most important things that i wanted to do for you guys so don't worry those giveaways will be coming very soon Anyway, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, and I will catch you in your daily ARC news. A lot of people, again, one more final question. A lot of people saying, Dom, are you going to be doing more daily uploads? Pretty much, we're just at a point where whenever there's news, a video will be coming live. So if there's loads of news in one day, you could see three videos. If there's very little news, you might only see one video. That's how we're working at the moment. So you will have as many videos as you want as wildcard release the news so don't worry and then as asa, asa gets released you will start to see more of it like a, a, a schedule of um as the series is that's coming out all the news the updates it's all going to come into plan so excited guys really really excited and thank you for all the support and what I, I think a lot of you guys like the new artwork i decided to go for something new um and uh, we're gonna try and keep the artwork fresh on the channel building through Asha, uh, asa and yeah leave a like see you guys then